Hello, welcome to class of, Russian, of Survival Russian for Travelers. Today is our second lesson and now that you know how to greet people in Russian and you know some basic expressions, it's time to start meeting people. Uh, so imagine you're on your way to Russia and chances are that many of the people on board the same plane are Russians. So why not turn to the person, to your, the person next to you and start talking? In Russian you would generally start such a conversation with this phrase. Давайте познакомимся. Давайте познакомимся, which means let's get acquainted. Давайте standing for let us. Uh, so first of all, you would want to introduce yourself. You would say, меня зовут, and your name. Uh, let's say your name is Peter. Меня зовут Петр. Меня зовут Петр. Uh, it means my name is Peter, but literally it may it can be translated as they call me Peter. Me, меня standing for me, and the the verb to call in this third person plural. They call me Peter. So this is how you say my name is Peter in Russian. Now to ask your partner about their name, you would you would say. Как вас зовут? Как вас зовут? What's your name? Or how? Как вас you зовут? They call. How do they call you? And in the brackets you can see another variant. Как тебя зовут? So if your if your partner is obviously much younger than you, that you can use the familiar form. Как тебя зовут? Or for formal for the formal conversation, как вас зовут, addressing someone old, older than you. Now, the first step is done and you are you're pleased to meet your, uh, your new acquaintance. Очень приятно, очень приятно, literally it means очень, very, pleased, I'm very pleased, pleased to meet you, очень приятно, or another variant, Приятно познакомиться. Приятно познакомиться, which means the same. Pleased to meet you. Познакомиться is a verb meaning to meet someone. And your your partner would probably answer, мне тоже, мне тоже. Me too. I all, I'm also pleased to meet you. So now let's have some practice and read a short dialect. For your convenience, all the dialects will be given only in Romanized transcription. So you already know, the, know these words. Здравствуйте. Uh, Здравствуйте, which means hello. Давайте познакомимся. Давайте познакомимся. Здравствуйте. Давайте познакомимся. Давайте. Давайте. So let us get acquainted. Okay, let us. So why not? Меня зовут Боб. Меня зовут Боб. My name is Bob. А вас? Or, а вас как зовут? And you? Or, and what is your name? So you, you will generally use the short variant. And you? So my name is Bob. And you? Я Анна. Очень приятно. Я Анна. Очень приятно. I'm Anna. Nice to meet you. Me too. Nice to meet you too. Мне тоже. Здравствуйте. Давайте познакомимся. Давайте. Меня зовут Боб. А вас как зовут? Я Анна. Очень приятно. Мне тоже. So, but imagine that Anna is a kindly Russian babushka, which is actually babushka in Russian, a word to address your grandmother or any other elderly lady. So, most likely, so uh, you, that you, most likely you won't address her just Anna, but use her full name, her name, and patronymic. In Russian, uh, you have always you always have to pay attention to whom you are speaking to. For example, um, the, the Russian president's friend would call him just Dmitri the president, uh, president Dmitry Medvedev, while his assistant will call him Dmitry Anatolyevich, Dmitry Anatolyevich, his name and his patronymic. So this is how Russian full name looks like. 
your family name? Ivanov Pyotr Borisovich. Your family name is Ivanov. Then the first name Pyotr. And the patronymic Borisovich. Patronymic is derived from the name of your father. For example, his name is Boris, like the name of the first Russian president, Bo Boris, plus this ending, Borisovich. So, Peter, the son of Boris. So, in an in a official situation, when addressing, when addressing someone older than you, you would use the full name, Pyotr Borisovich, to address someone. Uh, also, talking to talking to ad, uh, adult people in an official situation, you would most probably need to know their patronymic. For example, you cannot address your boss or your teacher just using just their name. Well, of course, it does depend on um, the kind of relationship that you have and, and how close you are. But most of the time, you would still use the full name, Pyotr Borisovich. Let's have a look at the female name, Ivanova Anna Petrovna. Ivanova Anna Petrovna. I know that in Russian, the family name, go, family name goes first. Ivanova, oh, sorry, it's, it's, there is a misprint here. Ivanova Anna Petrovna. So her, na her father's name is Peter, Pyotr in Russian, Pyotr. And we add this ending, Ovna, to get her patronymic, Petrovna. Okay. A bit difficult, but you will uh, soon get used to this. So, now let's have some practice. Uh, the, the, this is a short dialogue, and most of the phrases are already familiar to you. So let's just read them one, one, line by line. Привет, Саша. Привет, Саша. Hello, Sasha. And Sasha is a short for Alexander. Привет, Bob. Как дела? Привет, Bob. Как дела? Hello, Bob. How are you? How are you doing? Отлично. А у тебя? Отлично. А у тебя? Perfect. And you? What about you? У меня тоже все хорошо. У меня тоже все хорошо. У меня, to me, as for me, тоже, also, also, все, everything. Хорошо. Good. Okay. So, I'm fine too. У меня, у меня тоже все хорошо. Познакомься. Это мой коллега Петр Борисович. Познакомься. Это мой коллега Петр Борисович. Please meet my colleague. Петр Борисович. So, please meet my colleague Peter. That's how you would say in English. And in Russian, познакомься. Это мой коллега Петр Борисович. So let's have a close look at, the fine, at this last phrase. Now let's learn how to introduce other people. Познакомьтесь. Это мой коллега. Познакомьтесь. Это мой коллега. In the brackets, you have you see two variants. One for formal speech. Познакомьтесь. And for informal speech, познакомься, the one you saw in dialogue. So, uh, generally, the difference is that познакомьтесь is the plural form. You remember that in Russian, uh, you use the plural form of the second, per second personal pronoun to address people in a formal situation. So, the same happens with verb forms. You use the plural verb form to address one person in a, in, in a formal situation or addressing several people. Please meet my colleague. Познакомься. Это мой коллега. Его зовут Пётр. Его зовут Пётр. His name is Peter. And you already know how to say my name is Peter. So this is the same happens in, when you introduce someone else. Его, him, зовут, they call Peter. They call him Peter. So his name is Peter. So you can Let's have a look at a few more examples. Now you want to introduce someone of your f from your family. Это моя дочь. So there's another variant to introduce someone. You can just say this. This is my daughter. So it, it uh, word by word, it means just the same. Это, this, uh, this is. And in Russian, you do not use, you, in, in Russian, you omit the, uh, the, present, the present tense form of the word to be. So. Это моя дочь. This is my daughter. My, моя, 
daughter, дочь. Ее зовут Ира. Ее зовут Ира. Her name is Irene. Okay. Now, uh, let's introduce your friend. Это мой друг Олег. Это мой друг Олег. This is my friend Олег. And remember that in Russian you have to pay more attention to the gender, to the grammatical gender than in English. So, uh, for many words there are two, two variants, fem feminine, uh, feminine and masculine form. There's, there are two words for the word friend in Russian. Друг for your male friend and подруга for your female friend. So, introducing your female friend you would say Это моя подруга Света. Это моя подруга Света. This is my friend Света. And you also use the, the uh, feminine form of the, of the pro, pro, uh, possessive pronoun. Моя and мой. So, you can also introduce your, just a friend, a, let's say, not your friend, but just a friend of mine. Meet, please meet a friend of mine. Знакомый or знакомая, знакомый for for men and знакомая for for a woman, just acquaintance. Then, mama, mama, mother, papa, father, brat, brother, сестра, sister, or начальник, начальник. If you want to introduce your boss. So, now to finish up, let's have some practice. You remember the, the, the second dialect from today's lesson. Okay, I will, I will give you English translations and you try to remember how it sounds in Russian. So the first phrase was, uh, hello Sasha, hello Sasha, which would be, привет Sasha, okay? And the answer was, hello Bob, how are you? And the answer would be, Привет, Bob. Как дела? And, Perfect. And how are you? Отлично. А у тебя? I'm fine too. У меня тоже все хорошо. And, Please meet my colleague Петр. Please meet my colleague Петр. Познакомься. Это мой коллега Петр Борисович. Познакомься. Это мой коллега Петр Борисович. So, this is the end of our second lesson. See you in the next class.